Jerry, four months ago, you had a laparoscopic prostatectomy for chronic prostatitis. Before we get to that, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Jerry Nishikawa, I'm 59 years old. I've been married to Bessie for 35 years. Uh, we're involved with a family farm. Uh, 1979, I was injured in a uh, farming accident that left me a complete T8 uh, paraplegic. In 2006, I was diagnosed with uh, heart failure, and that's been stable since then. And I live in Davis, California. How long did you have prostatitis? Which symptoms did you have? What treatments had you pursued? In 2001, I had my first bout of prostatitis, um, cleared it up with 90 days of Cipro, and um, had it on and off um, uh, for a number of years, uh, same um, treatment, 90 days of Cipro, and it went away. Um, in 2006, I had uh, a case of prostatitis that turned into uh, sepsis, and it nearly took my life. Uh, but I recovered from that, and um, I was pretty free until about 2008, 2009, when I started having a lot more UTIs, and I, it wasn't, uh, the prostatitis wasn't going away for very long periods of time. Finally, in 2009, I started having uh, recurrent UTIs with the same uh, drug-resistant E. coli, and at that time, it, was, it got really uh, hard to take. Um, the pain was much more intense than it was earlier. Um, I couldn't concentrate very well. I was leaving uh, the stove on con uh, all the time. Uh, driving was more difficult. Um, I'd wake up in the middle of the night uh, just in terrible pain, um, pressure around the abdomen and, and the base of um, my penis. It was, um, it was, it was terrible. Uh, you know, I couldn't enjoy the simple things in life, um, going out and um, meeting friends, having dinner. I enjoy um, my hand cycle, but uh, I'd stop riding that. Uh, just didn't matter. Uh, it would be a beautiful day outside and I could care less. I just really, just really just didn't enjoy life at all. And it was, it was really, it basically was on my mind constantly. And I would talk to a lot of uh, my friends who were doctors about what to do and it became clear to me that this was not an easy thing to deal with once the antibiotics uh, didn't work anymore. Well, I've had uh, three urologists over the year and they just, uh, they just didn't seem very um, interested or, or have any good ideas how to deal with, with, with a prostate infection. They just um, would change the subject. What led you to laparoscopic surgery? Had you ever known a patient who'd had this treatment? Do you understand the risk associated with it? Well, I've had a number of surgeries in my life, um, and so I understood the risk of surgery, but honestly, at this time, I felt so um, bad that the, the risks didn't even, weren't even, uh, you know, di didn't even enter my mind. I just wanted to get better. And f everything I read said in extreme cases, in some cases, you have to consider surgery. I've known people who've had uh, prostat uh, prostatectomies for cancer, but no one for prost prostatitis. My urologist um, in Davis, didn't think surgery was an option. He just didn't think it uh, should even be considered and um, basically told me I was taking too many out of box and he wanted me to find a way to live with this. But it, it, I knew that I just couldn't live with this at this point and um, I, wanted, I wanted it out. And I, the first thing I was interested in is finding somebody who would do the surgery because I knew it would be very difficult to convince a doctor. Uh, in, in, in Davis or California, as far as I was concerned. So I uh, was on the internet constantly, and that's when I came across Dr. Krongrad's website, and I read every story I could, especially the prostatitis uh, patients, and uh, I knew I could relate to all of them, the pain they were going through, and um, I, I pretty much knew I found what I was looking for. How did surgery go? The worst part of the whole experience was the flight over because the air, the jet, uh, jets don't have uh, accessible bathrooms. And so that was a long time uh, to not go to the bathroom for me. Um, once I got uh, to Florida, uh, it, was, it was the breeze. It was, 
uh, so easy it was hard to believe. Um, it just didn't take much time at all uh, setting up everything. Um, and it was really a, it was a pleasurable experience. The moment I regained consciousness, I knew there was a big change. My mind was clearer than it's been in a long time. I really felt, I felt good. Uh, it was, as I said, I've had a number of surgeries and it was the easiest uh, surgery uh, I've had by far. There was no uh, painkillers, no, uh, in the Tylenol, I didn't take it till about three in the morning and that was because I rolled over in the bed and I kind of strained something, but it was, um, it, it, was, it was almost painless. How did your prostatitis respond to laparoscopic prostatectomy? All those pains that I had, uh, the congestion, um, the burning, um, they were gone. They were gone the moment I awoke. I knew that there was a big change and I felt uh, better than I had in, in a long time. It's been five months and um, it's the type of thing where I no longer worry about it. I don't think about it. Um, it just just didn't cross my mind. It just uh, there's other things I think about. Um, life's enjoyable again. I'm riding my hand cycle, uh, enjoying my hobbies, um, enjoy going out. Um, it's night and day. It's night and day. Is there anything more you'd like to share with men dealing with chronic prostatitis? I do believe, unless you've suffered through this. Um, I don't think a person could understand what you're going through. And it's debilitating. Uh, it, 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 it basically ruins your life. It, it takes away so much. And at some point, I think um, surgery has to be considered. I, I do think. I, I know that I, don't, I didn't regret it. Um, it, was, it was my last option. Without this, I, I don't know what, where I'd be. It, it was getting that bad. Betsy, what did you see happening to Jerry? How had his prostatitis impacted your lives? Well, what I observed from Jerry was that he just had no energy. You know, he didn't want to go for bike rides, didn't like going out anymore. Um, you know, he, he loved to socialize with his friends. And, um, you know, he had no interest. He would be exhausted all the time. Mentally, he would make, um, you know, little errors. He couldn't, you know, figure out certain little things or... And, um, you know, sometimes he'd like to, to cook and he would leave the stove on all the time, you know, and then go away and, you know, just, the, the, you know, the pan would be burning. Yes, I was very worried about Jerry. What were your observations about Jerry's response to surgery? How's he doing now? After surgery, Jerry's color returned immediately. He felt so much better. You know, his mind was thinking a lot clearer. Uh, I could tell he just felt a lot better, much happier. After we turned from Miami, our plane got in. It was a little bit late and it was raining, but Jerry drove home from San Francisco back to Davis, you know, at three in the morning. He had lots of energy. Despite the seriousness of the uh, situation, you know, the treatment and the surgery were great. and. Uh, I got my husband back. <laughs>